we head towards the Egyptian defence show, EDEX, in November, we've already started to see signs of a deepening defence relationship between Britain and Egypt. Angie has been looking into the latest manifestation of this improving and deepening relationship. I'm John Lake. And I'm Angie B. <laughs> Hello and welcome to a to and i The strengthening Anglo-Egyptian defence relationship has already included the participation of RAF Eurofighter Typhoons in Egypt's Bright Star exercise, and now the UK MOD has announced the sale of two former Royal Fleet Auxiliary replenishment ships, the RFA Fort Austin and her sister ship, the RFA Fort Rosalie, to a rapidly growing and modernising Egyptian navy. The two former Royal Fleet Auxiliary ships were originally put up for sale in May 2021, but when the Defence Equipment Sales Authority, DESA, invited expressions of interest for the two ships, it dictated that it would only entertain bids from companies with the appropriate recycling facilities in the UK, or that were included within the current European list of ship recycling facilities. Everyone expected that the ships would be scrapped, so when it was revealed that they would instead be sold as a going concern, there was some surprise and a great deal of applause. The UK Defence Equipment Sales Authority, DESA, called this a landmark deal, pointing out that it marks the first time that the UK has sold military vessels to Egypt in more than 30 years. Negotiations are already underway for the refurbishment work on the vessels before they are exported, which promises to support UK jobs. Vice Admiral Chris Gardner, DE&S Director General Ships, said that their sale to the Egyptian Navy, the first sale of UK military vessels to this partner in more than 30 years, represents both an investment in a UK partner nation and an opportunity to continue supporting our industry partners who will prepare these vessels to hand over, which is central to the successful national shipbuilding strategy. The deal was welcomed by Defence Procurement Minister Jeremy Quinn, who noted that both the UK and Egyptian navies were continuing to strengthen relationships to maintain peace and security in the region. Clive Walker, the head of DESA, said that DESA is exceptionally happy to be working with the Egyptian Navy on the regeneration of two former Royal Fleet auxiliary ships. This represents a tangible demonstration of the strengthening relationship between the two navies and the importance of the strategic relationship between the UK and Egypt. The Fort Rosalie and the Fort Austin are officially classed as Fort Class Solid Support Ships and they were released from service earlier this year after some 40 years of replenishing the Royal Navy and Allied navies deployed across the world with food, stores and ammunition. The 23,384 tonne RFA Fort Rosalie was originally commissioned in 1978 and underwent a life extension programme in 2015. Her last repair and refit period was in 2018 and the ship's last docking at Camel Laird in Birkenhead came in January 2019. The RFA Fort Austin was commissioned in 1979 and was placed into reserve in the summer of 2009 but was then reinstated into the RFA fleet three years later after a series of major upgrades. She was retired to Camel Laird in 2017 after serving on Operation Kippian in the Gulf. The ships lost their raison d'etre when the BAE Harrier was retired in 2010, leading to the retirement of the Invincible class light aircraft carriers, and they were unable to adequately support the replacement Queen Elizabeth class carriers. This was because their RAS replacement at sea rig geometry was not compatible, while their single screw configuration made RAS with very large vessels more risky. With capacity of up to 3,500 tonnes of weapons, food and other naval stores across four holds, and with a total volume of 12,800 cubic metres, the ships did have a useful secondary troop transport capability, and so they were retained. And for Egypt, which operates smaller Mistral class amphibious assault ships or helicopter carriers, they should be well sized to meet RAS requirements. Both ships have been described as being in good condition, and informed sources suggest that while their ageing hulls may be a bit brittle for use in northern waters, they were well built by Scott Lithgow on the Clyde and remain well suited to operation in more temperate waters. Though the pair are old technology ships that need a big crew, this isn't as much of a problem for Egypt, uh, where labour is cheaper and unemployment is at the moment higher than in the UK. It would be a mistake to underestimate the Egyptian Navy, however, as it is now ranked as having the seventh strongest naval fleet in the world, and it is the largest naval power in the Mediterranean and the Red Sea. 
This is absolutely not a case of a first tier navy simply selling off tired and obsolete kit to a less developed navy. The two ships have good aviation facilities with two flight decks allowing them to use helicopters to offload supplies, operating from six replenishment stations as well as undertaking traditional replenishment at sea missions. They are primarily intended to be a replacement for the ENS Halayib, a Vestavolt class ammunition transport ship, but may be under consideration to join two Egyptian Navy Mistral LHD task groups. With space for four Sea Kings with the necessary maintenance and hangar facilities, the ships could be used as flexible aviation training vessels or even to augment the frontline Mistrals as helicopter carriers. The Sea King, in its export commando form, is of course still a mainstay of the Egyptian armed forces. Of course, the ships could still also be used for supporting Egypt's expanding long-range fleet. Deezer is part of the MOD's DENS Defence Equipment and Support, the UK's military procurement arm, and is tasked with developing defence exports and investments as a key element in advancing global Britain and asserting UK defence in the face of evolving threats. The recent Integrated Review and Defence Command paper aids these ambitions by providing a strategic backbone for such commercial activity, backed by the £24 billion investment announced last year. In the UK, Fort Austin and Fort Rosalie will be replaced by the new Fleet Solid Support FSS ships, which will form part of the UK's Carrier Strike Group. The deepening defence relationship between Britain and Egypt has also given hope to British naval and history preservation buffs, who long for the return of the former HMS Wimbrel from Egypt, and perhaps even the ex-HMS Zenith too. HMS Wimbrel was a Black Swan class sloop, a survivor of the Battle of the Atlantic in the Second World War, and the last surviving Royal Navy warship present at the Japanese surrender in 1945. Sold to Egypt in November 1949, she was renamed El Malik Farouk, and then in 1954 she was rechristened Tarek. A preservation attempt was launched in 2006, aimed at bringing her to Canning Dock in Liverpool as a memorial to those who died on the Atlantic convoys, but a price could not be agreed. Still in use as a static training ship alongside in Alexandria in 2016, Tarek was offered to the National Museum of the Royal Navy Portsmouth for £725,000 and plans are reportedly afoot to bring her back to the UK. She has been surveyed and was said to be upright, afloat and intact with her guns and equipment, but structurally very, very fragile and full of asbestos. This makes her almost worthless as scrap and increases the likelihood that she might instead be preserved. The current status of the HMS Zenith, a wartime Z-class destroyer that was once offered free of charge along with Wimbrel, is less clear. Transferred to Egypt in 1955, she became the El Fateh, but may already have been scrapped. Well, that's all we have time for at the moment. Thanks for watching. Do subscribe to our YouTube channel and see you next time. Thank <laughs> you.